Hello everybody. Another video. I'm getting on top of it these days. I'm gonna I'm gonna title this video Shoulda, Coulda, Woulda. A lot of y'all know that expression and what it refers to, but I'm gonna refer this phrase to doll lines that have failed. Doll lines that I saw had great potential but ended up failing anyways and the reasons why I thought that and these are the reasons my opinions why I thought they failed and what they could have done to survive now uh, just to start off live dolls Beautiful dolls. Amazing jointings. Of course, some of the jointings aren't that pretty, but I can deal with it. They're beautiful dolls. They all basically have the same face sculpt. Um, just different makeup. One, that's one thing they could have changed was, you know, use different face sculpts. But they, their clothing was okay. It was decent. And they had lovely shoes, and they had play sets, and if I'm correct, Lottie, I, I mean, Live Dolls were the first dolls, modern dolls, that I can think of, to do the interchangeable wigs, to where you can change their wigs. That was a big thing. And I meant, notice I mentioned modern. I know there are dolls out there, and Barbie was one of those that had the interchangeable wigs with the fashion queen. But this was an affordable modern day doll with lovely jointing, very good jointing, uh, and appearance with that idea of changeable wigs with different styles, different colors, and different opportunities. Now, quite frankly, I don't know why they failed. Honestly, I don't. Um, maybe it was due to lack of advertising, advertisement, um, lack of clothing I don't know they had a few lines and from the ones that I have I absolutely love these dolls and I try to snatch them up any chance I get when I find them but the stores don't even carry back stock anymore of these dolls so you can't get them in stores anymore but I honestly love these dolls to death don't know why they failed and I wish they would have survived. Another line similar to Live Dolls was the Moxie Teens. Now they still have the Moxie Girls out but the Moxie Teens were for an older audience, projected audience, and like teens and stuff and they had they were they are a good size let me show you. They are a good size difference from your usual Barbie and Liv dolls and other dolls. So they were big. They had they had pretty good jointing. I mean it's not the best. She hasn't been played with in a while. She's a little stiff. Sorry. They even had a waist joint. Uh, well, she's got the bust joint. And jointed ankles and knees. I mean, and she has a beautiful face with real eyelashes and inset eyes and everything. I just... And I think they did have a line that had replaceable wigs. You know, you can interchange the wigs. 
I love these. I unfortunately got into the modern doll game late and these were already going out and they were in clearances and I snatched up the only two I could find which was these two. And this is Jackson. Now for all of y'all, y'all know I love to get the boy dolls because in a, in a hobby that um, is dominated by females there is mainly female dolls so I love to see the male dolls and I always snatch them up and he is quite handsome if you can see he kinda reminds me of a young Zac Efron almost in his blue little prom suit but he has just about the same jointing as this girl I think they're beautiful and I don't know why they failed maybe again lack of advertisement lack of promotions um I don't know maybe it was just there was too many dolls out on the market at one time I have no idea now this other this next line I have harped on before and this is a line by MGA and it is the Novi Stars. I bet you thought I was going to say Bratzillas. I bet you. I bet you. Once you, said, once you heard MGA. But actually I will get Bratzillas later. I was not a big fan of these dolls. But I saw potential. Because in, in the battle between Monster High and Bratzillas MGA came out with these dolls which was a totally different concept from both of them. Bratzillas and Monster Highs were mythical monsters and witches and things like that. They went in a completely different direction and went sci-fi on you with aliens. I mean they are cute and adorable dolls but they lack in a lot of areas. Jointing is a big one. Um, and people are like, well, they lose their special abilities. Like this girl, she has glitter in her legs. I would gladly, you know, sacrifice the glittery legs for a body that was jointed. And um, actually, Universe. This doll right here, which is an OV star, is taller, more pleasing, quite pleasing actually. And one thing that made me so angry about her, even though I do love these, this idea right here, I do, is that the back of her box showed a prototype jointed Novi star with joints and she was posed in all funky different poses but that's not what you get with this doll it's not now if they could have made these dolls even this size and jointed them or jointed these Novi Stars would have done a whole lot better a whole lot better I, I could guarantee basically guarantee that but because of their lack of jointing and their um, the box give, telling you promises that they couldn't cash and the fact that these arms are quite flimsy and do have a tendency to pop off and the hair is not the best quality they failed they were even going to release a line that looked pretty cool, but it never even reached the shelves of most of the stores near me. I never even got to see most of the second wave. I know she was part of the second wave, but I didn't really see much of the others. Now, here's another Novi Star. This is the Skins one. Now, the Skins on this doll were awful cheap looking uh, you could not move her when she was in the skin cause her limbs and things would pop out and that is a no-no but they could have but I like to keep her because 
they could have kept her, they could have made her this size. They could have made the other dolls this size, and they could have jointed her arms, jointed her legs, and everything else, and re-released them, and I think they would have done a whole lot better. Seriously, I think they would have. Uh, okay, on to the next. la di -da's. Uh, very cute, very charming. I saw great potential in these line, in this line, but again, um, the stands were an issue, top heaviness, um, they didn't really have much of a big story and there was not much advertisement for them. I, I think there was just too much competition in the market for these dolls and after a while they started just the outfits started to fade in wildness. But I think they're beautiful and I love them. Okay now, I'm trying to hurry this up because my battery light is blinking. Yay! Last but not least, MGA's Bratzillas. Now I know there's a big controversy over this in Monster High. I think though, if they had improved the clothing and the hair and the materials that they used to make these, uh, their outfits and dolls, that they would have done a, lot, a whole lot better. Cause I actually did like the idea, but I did not like their story. I didn't. I mean, with fashion, witchcraft i mean being a witch is there's got to be more to it than fashion there has to be i got bored with their web show i did just was not interesting to me and their joints are really can be really difficult at times but i do have these and i have as you see i have a little selection of each of these dolls and I wish that they would have actually succeeded. I seriously do. I wished that they would make improvements on the Novi Stars. And I wish that Liv's and Moxie Teens would come back. And Lottie Dawes would have done better. And I know there's a lot of people out there too that wished that these lines would have done more. So I want to hear your opinions. I want you to comment below and tell me what do you think that each of these doll lines or a doll line that has failed that you liked could have done to make them better to where they might have actually survived. But uh, I think that's about all I can do right now because my battery is going to die on me any minute or second. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you all have a great day. Bye-bye.